Welcome back to Changing Gears, episode 12. I'm Brady. And I'm Ben. And today we have special guest Brian Sutherland. He does a lot here in the Salem um, area, so we're just going to start off, what do you do with the Beacons? You know, talk about the Beacons, kind of give us a rundown of that. Uh, Salem Kaiser High School Sports Booster Club uh, started in 1994, and uh, it uh, started off as kind of a low-key uh, booster club, just trying to help schools buy things that potentially they couldn't get on their own. Mm -hmm. uh, budget cuts and that kind of thing and they were going to fill in the blanks uh, eventually it it got going and it was when it started it was pretty robust it was going pretty good and, mm -hmm. and then uh, they, like all things it seems like the people who started it and were so gung-ho they got old yeah. don't look at me <laughs> uh, the uh, uh, they got old and uh, they kind of stopped doing stuff and then it just kind of sat there for a long uh. time um, I was athletic director at uh, West when the former AD from South, my former boss here, uh, Dave Johnson called me and said, hey, we'd like you to be involved with this. Uh, I got involved with the Booster Club, um, shoot, probably, I'm gonna say 2012, maybe. Okay. And uh, then I retired and after that we got it going, we kind of got it up and going again. We we're trying to figure out a way to keep it going and to raise money so we could help athletic departments and uh, we came up with this idea of the beacons that we were going to honor people in the community who had done great things mm -hmm. uh, through athletics uh, either either coaching or uh, uh, you know they could be supporters yeah. or, they, or athletes mm -hmm. uh, for that matter but people that were well, that we could be proud of we don't we're, uh -huh. we're not we're, it's not a hall of fame uh, we don't want people that have just done great things athletically. Right. We yeah. want people. In fact, we have a stipulation on our uh, beacons that we won't. I'm going to say this. Uh, I want to <laughs> say it's hard and fast, but it, but I think it kind of is that uh, we won't take anybody under 40 because I think the re you 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 guys, for example, good good athletes may go on and do great things, uh -huh. but you can't really be a beacon yeah. until you know done something in your life yeah. you know so anyway that's the kind of people we've been honoring and then a couple of years ago we decided we we honor one from each school mm -hmm. uh for each of our six salem kaiser this only applies to salem kaiser high yes. schools uh and we, one from our, each of our schools and then we have uh community what we call community beacons Be okay. people who've done stuff that but they're not really associated totally with a school as such you know well, like, they're just like uh -huh. a yeah so yeah. this year for example fred martin longtime basketball referee okay. uh graduated north kids went to uh west but long time referee uh, mike alliger was a radio guy that did a lot of bass or uh, did a lot of broadcasts and mm -hmm. does a lot of high school he promotes yeah. high school sports he loves high school sports he loves sports Definitely, in general yeah. Uh, and then Don, you guys saw him this morning, the two fellows who were sitting this yep. up in front at uh, Salem Sports and Breakfast Club, mm -hmm. who total volunteer positions have just kept that club going That's for, amazing. I mean, it's been going since 1950, well, actually, I think it started in the earlier 50s as well, but it's been going for a long time, and these guys, have, they're totally supporters of high school mm -hmm. sports, so that's kind of what the Beacons yeah, do. That's awesome, yeah. And what's your position for that? Uh, I'm the president of the Beacons. Okay, uh, so I've been, or excuse me, not the Beacons, I'm the president of Salem Kaiser High School Sports Booster Club, which puts on the Beacons. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I think I've been the president for about the last six years. Uh, that's what, yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, I do. Definitely. So you have a lot with that in general, but that's not all you do. So how, what do you do besides that? Because that's obviously keeping you busy, but pretty sure you're a coach you've done a lot of other things so you want to yeah. tell us about that I yeah I'm uh, yeah, a true believer I'm a true believer in high school sports I mm -hmm. I know I grew up in South Tacoma yeah. I had uh, parents who were high school graduates but they were never athletes they didn't weren't involved in athletics and they did the, they did a great job I love my parents to death they gave you know the, I it's only after the fact that you go back and realize what your parents gave to you when right. they, they, when they really didn't have yeah. anything to give to you and uh, so, but they couldn't guide me in, in terms of going to college and stuff because they never went to college and they didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, high school athletics, baseball in particular, was what I did uh, that got me to college. Uh, met my wife, came back to Salem. I mean, my life is what it is mm -hmm. because of high school athletics. I mean, um, so how long have you been coaching here at South? 
I came to South in the fall of 1989 from McKay. I was at two years at South Albany, two years at McKay, and then I came here for, I coached here for 13 years. I coached football for 13 years. Uh, I coached uh, a little, couple, three years, I believe, of baseball, and I helped with basketball as well. Mm -hmm. uh, right. And now, and then, I, then when I retired, for, I, I then went to West and was athletic director, excuse me, I was assistant principal for four years. Mm -hmm. Then I was athletic director for eight, and I retired in 2015, came back over here and coached three years of football with Coach Defoe, who, uh -huh. when I was at McKay, prior to coming here, he, he and I coached yeah, coach together. Yeah, yeah. And so I came uh, back over here and coached uh, football for three years, and then Coach McCormick, <laughs> If you live in Salem long enough, you know everybody. That's, yeah, that, that's yeah. fundamentally that's what happened. But uh, Coach McCormick and I uh, used to coach, or excuse me, we played slow pitch together in like 1983. <laughs> and so he he I came back over. He saw me and said, "Hey, would you like to start co coaching again?" And and so that's what that's I've been hard doing. to yeah, say man. no to. Yeah. Um, so we'll focus more on this team you have this year. Do you have any? Uh, special memories about this this year's team or anything special about this year's team uh, first of all this is a an extremely young team I mean we're we're only gonna lose well we we lose Shelby Kenyon uh, we will lose Rowan Thompson mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to think of or I'm gonna forget somebody and I and I <laughs> can't remember who it is that I'm gonna forget uh, those may be our only seniors mm -hmm. and obviously we've got a team that has got one of the best pitchers in Oregon yeah. on the team yeah. and so uh, you can hide a lot of youthful uh, in a, a lot of youthful inexperience mm -hmm. when you've got a pitcher that can yeah. go out and strike out that you know 15 16 yeah. 18 people yeah. and so yeah I mean it's been fun to watch her and, and I and I've had been with Rowan now for four years and uh, so it's been fun to watch her development, you know, over for the last sure. four mm -hmm. years. So she's got just gotten better and better. Um, what's your favorite coach, uh, a sport to coach? Probably whatever one I'm in at the time. Uh, I mean, I, I, I if you'd <laughs> asked me that question, uh, oh, you know, before I went to West, I would have said football, no question. I mm -hmm. loved coaching football. When you put 11 guys on a field and defense and offense and they're kind of separate units and there's a lot, so many moving there's parts. There's just nothing like it. I know, yeah. and, it's, and it's a lot of scheme. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. you can scheme things up. And that's, that's it, yeah, so I like that. But I, but I played baseball in college, so. Um, have you thought about coaching football again? I did for three years when I, back in 2016, back? 17, 17, What 18, about now, 18, though? 19, Why nope. about that? <laughs> nope. And, I, and it has nothing to do with, it has nothing to do with anything except that what I found out was coaching football is, at my age, yeah. it's hard. I mean, getting on that turf yeah, and I mean, just standing there is really hard. Yeah. I mean, and that's why Haugen, I think, Kerry uh, finally – I mean, yeah, he, hang it, yeah. he loved coaching just like me, but it just becomes the hours that you need to put in it's to insane. be really good in football. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think you guys are, I mean, uh, talking to your dad about how, you know, the, he's doing like offensive lineman camp. I mean, yeah. you've yeah. got to do that stuff. And he's watching film all, every night. He comes yeah, home and, pretty and you can't, it's not, uh, you know, and that's not to say that Coach Price doesn't put in tremendous hours either. But man, it's just football is a whole different animal, and then yeah. you're standing on that turf yeah. all day long. Oh my goodness, nice I, I just physically practice. can't do yeah. it anymore. Yeah. Um, so, what position did you coach in football? What <laughs> you 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 would look at me because I'm not a very big guy, and you think, well, you know, wide receiver, yeah, running DB. back, <laughs> defensive tackles, <laughs> defensive ends, linebackers. We we oh, were uh, most of the time I was here, we were a split staff, so you only coach one side of the ball, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so I coached. It, well, is is for all the years that we were split staff, I coached defense. So it was linebackers, de defensive tackles, defensive ends. I liked the interior linemen; yeah. they were fun to coach. Nasty. Uh, flip back to teaching. What did you teach here at South? Uh, I taught. It used to be that every senior, in order to graduate from Salem Kaiser School, was had to have an economics class, and uh -huh. it, I think they teach it as a sophomore now. Uh, but yeah. and I don't even know if it's required. But yeah, it used to be required, true. and so I taught economics. I mean, mm -hmm. almost my entire day was economics because, first of all, when you ask most people about economics, teachers about economics, 
I mean, they'll look at you and go, you know, I mean, it, when, I don't want to teach economics. Nobody wants to yeah. teach economics. Well, my background was in economics, so I didn't mind. Uh -huh. And so when the, it was like, in any, if ever a school found somebody that would teach economics, mm -hmm. hired. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Hired, and you can be here as long yeah. as you want. You know. Yeah. And so I tell you, yeah, the whole time I was here for 13 years, I taught primarily taught economics. No, and that's one of the things you really get used in the real world. That's why I enjoyed it. So. Yeah, I mean, I and I, you know, I'm a big. I agree with you. I think that you can explain a lot of the, what happens later in life if you understand economics. Right. But I say, but they do call it the. It's they call it the dismal science, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and it's probably for <laughs> yeah. a reason. It's not exciting. <laughs> what do you miss the most about teaching in general? Uh, teaching, when I went into administration. I had been teaching at that point for uh, 17 years. Uh -huh. And I was pretty much, I mean, it was kind of like been there, done that kind yeah. of deal. It was time for a change. Yeah. So when you ask me what I miss about teaching, uh, I, I don't want to say nothing because there were things I really liked about it, but when I got out of it, it was time to get out of yeah, it. Yeah, I get what so, you mean. Um, but I do think that I enjoyed I enjoyed the instruction. I mean, I, I liked teaching mm -hmm. actually economics. I mean, I liked the uh, um, the guy. I like graphs. Yeah. I like doing all the stuff that probably all the students are going. Oh yeah. my God, not again. Yeah. <laughs> so, coaching wise, when I got that was a little bit tougher because when I got out of coaching, went into administration, you lose contact with kids. Mm -hmm. So even as athletic director, so yeah. Coach Armstrong here. Coach Armstrong, by the way, he was a coach here, yeah. by the way, uh, he, his interactions with the coaches who coach the kids. Yeah. And occasionally he'll be able to see you guys in the, you know, in the hall and shake right. hands, say, nice game last night, yeah. doing all that. But he doesn't get to see you on a regular basis. And I mm -hmm. miss that. That was the hard part was I could look at, I would see kids that I could appreciate what they were doing, but, I, but it wasn't the same as right, like what Coach at, Price sees in you guys every day. He mm -hmm. gets to see you and... And he sees you in the halls, and he watches you grow up, and because you know daily, right? And you just don't have that same yeah. deal with your when you're administrator. No, for sure. Well, we appreciate you coming in with your busy schedule, and we also just appreciate everything you're doing for high school sports. It's, yeah, it's an definitely. amazing job. We really appreciate it here. Just want you to know that. So, well, if you. I get to if I get to come in contact with people like yourselves and the people like we, you know, that we honored this morning and other people, mm -hmm. I mean, it's all worthwhile. No, Thank well, we you. We appreciate. It. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. Great job. Sorry about the minor. Did you write that or mom? I did not is, write is there it. Gonna be, is there going to be discussion at home now?